make it work more efficiently for you. The first tip I have for you is to using a Sharpie. Yes, a Sharpie to create a template. Maybe it's a, a calendar template page that you would like to have that you want to have that every month and then, but then you want to wipe it off. So use a Sharpie. Now I have one of the index cards here that I used a Sharpie on. This can be, uh, you know, what, uh, action steps. What, what, what are my to do's for today? So I, I made a template here and then well, let's see if I have time. Here's some other things that I, you know, can squeeze in if I have the time. So I created a template and this is a Sharpie, so it's not going to wipe off. Okay. Use your, your erasable pens on here. And at the end of the day, wipe it off and start fresh the next day. So this is an in index card. You can do the same thing on a page of your rocket book making a template for whatever it is you need to make. Okay. The next one is concerning the file names. Now I mentioned in a previous video that it's, it's okay if you don't put the name at the top of your page before you go to scan it. I'm going to show you now how you can easily change that file name before you send it. You're going to scan it, change the file name, then send it. Okay. Let's take a look at that. So I have in front of me my rocket book with my example page on. So I am going to hit the plus uh, for a new scan, hold it over my book. And the nice thing about this is you don't have to hit the print button or hit the take a picture button like you do with, with your camera. It just automatically does it. Then I'm going to go to next. And at the top here, uh, next to the document, you see RB and then the date and then 19.34.31. That's what Rocketbook assigned to this scan. Just click on that, just tap on that, and you can start typing whatever you want it to do. Okay, I'm gonna call it example. No, nope, change that name. You can put a date in if you want, December 2022. And then hit save in the upper right corner and then come to the bottom and send it. And there you have a new name for your file. Okay. So even if you had previously named it something, you say, oh, I don't want that. That's how you do it before you send it off. And also when you're thinking about what you're naming that file, if you're sending it to something like Google Drive that you can search, put all your keywords in the name of the document, okay? That way the system can e find what you're looking for easier. Because remember, like Google Drive, they only search the title of the file. It, it, it can't search the contents of it. Now, if you're sending it over to Evernote, Evernote can search what's in the document also. But it's best when you're naming naming the actual note uh, to put keywords in that file name. It's just a lot easier to find then. And the last tip I wanna share with you, well, not so much tip, but just a little bit of information about the pens that you use uh, on here. The, they are erasable, remember, like, and they're two, if you haven't figured it out. If you're taking notes and you say, oh, I want to, you know, I don't want that. Yes, you can erase it right away. That's that's the nice thing about it. This one uh, has it on the cap, the eraser on the cap. Um, and also, if you're not, if you don't erase your pages often, if you go weeks, months, and you just keep using the next page, the next page, the next page, and you're saying, but how long do I have to, to erase this ink? My research has shown that even after a year that the ink will come off the page. If you have the, the wipe off, uh, you just take the, the wet cloth and wipe it off. There might be a little ghosting on that, um, but over time, as you keep reusing the page, it will come off. If you have the one that you put into the microwave, that one you might have to microwave longer. <laughs> um, you know, just uh, 
give it a try. But these are meant to reuse on a regular basis. So you really do want to be erasing them every few days, every few weeks. Um, don't wait until you run out of pages. Okay. Those are my final tips on Rocketbook.